Hi guys, I am here today to show you some 4x4 doors I've been building recently. I've got three different types I want to show you, all of which have their own uh, their own advantages. And I'm just going to go straight in and say uh, the first one's right here, which I'll show you now. This door is a, they're all 4x4 vault, uh, four four vault doors by the way. So basically they, this is the first one. Works uh, very, very cleanly. And uh, main pros to this one are it's three wide, animation is all very clean, and uh, yeah, it's pretty small in general. So the dimensions of this are oh, it's a bit gets a bit bulky down the bottom. Still only three wide though for the actual door. So that's what that's over there is just part of the button. And basically, dimensions of this are uh, 16, 16 high. Um, no, sorry, 16, 16 wide, 14 high, and 3 wide. So yeah, that's pretty small, and uh, yeah, it's not bad. However, this is not my only door. I have uh, two other doors that I want to show you. And this one, although it is 4 wide, and uh, 17, 17 long, and 15 high, which is actually bigger than the other one, in one in every direction, it's got a much nicer animation. Check this out. Please. Look at that. It's got like the little teeth. And one of my favourite things is, watch when it closes, the little teeth all lock in, and it's like they're like, it's like they're actually locking together, like spinning. Look. It might, do, it might even do a slow motion if you lock. Them. Yeah. So it looks really nice. So yeah, this one's uh, as I said, one wider. Uh, so it's four wide, one further along this way, and one higher, just basically because of space issues, because it's quite hard to fit in. And then, yeah, this is my uh, my final door over here, is the smallest one. Although I haven't actually fitted in a T flip flop, I could easily fit one in. Um, this one is actually 14, um, 14 long, 13 high, and three wide. And basically, I've cut, cut off the. Uh, on the other door, there was one one block sticking out here which made it one wide on each side so basically I just found a way to compact it a little bit take this one off each side making it two two less along and I also made it one shorter because the um, on my other one there's a T flip flop in it which is actually making it one larger so yeah this one although uh, although it is much smaller there is only the only annoying thing about it is the animation there see so yeah, that See, it's uh, still good, still clean. However, there is a bit of a it gets a bit dodgy, so some people might not like that. But one of my um, favourite things about these doors, really, is I can demonstrate on this one. Doesn't work on all of them, but this one, you never see any visible pistons. Not at any point. You can never see like the arms come across to grab the blocks like you can in the regular four x four doors rather than vault doors. So you never actually, even even when it's opening and closing, you never see any kind of piston arms. So, so look, see, no piston arms there, no piston arms anywhere in that. So it looks really nice. Yeah, so um, one of the main main challenges really of getting this to work was trying to get the uh, double piston extenders to work without interference from basically everything powering uh, the other blocks. And without and trying to power these um, the ones down at the side and the top and the bottom without powering uh, the, the extenders because that actually causes like, a great deal of problems really and that was why I had to basically design my own extenders and uh, they are all over here so on the the one with the the little teeth that come out they uh, that one uses one of the um, one up one down and two on the sides, so this one's the one on the side. Works completely fine. Just add, yeah, and I'll probably build it, uh, make a tutorial for these at some point because uh, I've already made a tutorial for this one, so I will make for the other ones. This is the down one. This one's really small as well, and this is my up one that I have a video for. So basically, putting these together and getting all the timings right, and you can get well this. And yeah, so the main challenge, that was the main challenge really, getting it, these to work without ruining the 
the uh, animation of any of the other ones. Because when I tried to make it smaller, it, it actually just ruined it. So that's basically how it works. And although this, this episode isn't a tutorial, I will make one if you guys want one. The reason this is a bit later than usual, because I'm trying to upload like at least once a week, really. This one's a bit later, because um, as you may, if you've watched any of my videos, you'll notice that my voice is suddenly a hell of a lot clearer. And that is because um, I've just been, uh, I've just bought it and I've been waiting for it and I didn't want to upload another one with poor mic quality. So yeah, you got you got my uh, voice a little bit clearer now. Uh, what you can expect uh, more videos in the future because I've got a complete remake of my 3 by 3 door and well, that's it right there. Massively smaller because the other, um, the other one was just, actually it was just huge. To be honest, I don't know why I uploaded it really. Because well, I thought it was good, but then I kind of just made it, like, was just messing around with it and just realised I could get it so much more. Go away. Um, yeah, so this is in 1.4.4, incidentally, so if you are looking at it during this, it does work. Um, also, yeah, so I've got that, and I've got a few other little, little inventions that I'll be uploading uh, over the coming weeks. So I hope you hope you check them out. I hope you enjoyed this video and that's it for me. Thank you.